Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're just out to have a little look at the Shredlights SLFX Plus. Really cool little uh, effect, underglow light. First I've just got to go find somewhere dark to go and play because it's kind of hard to show you how good these lights are in the daytime. Really popular e-skate underglow light. People place them under under their boards, under their scooters, under your EUCs. It's a really you know a good good option to be seen and to add some flair and express yourself a little bit. So I'm just going to take a little look at that. I'm going to head somewhere nice and dark where you can see how they work, and I'll run through just a couple of the modes and things that I've found with them as well. Come along if you've got a bit of time. Grab a coffee, take a seat, and we'll enjoy this i've been using shred lights for a little while now on my wheels i use mostly i'm i'm considering safety when i mount my shred lights i've got the sl1000 on the front which offers me a few different modes of flashing and brightness settings it's one of the brightest lights i've ever seen and i can just mount that in various ways position my lighting i've also got the slr1s just on the back and that gives me a little bit more safety as well both of those lights can be adjusted with the brightness and the functions to allow you to do different flash patterns and so they're great to consider safety and your safety on the road you need to be seen and not all, not all EUCs have a good light setup but the next level is to start to consider your, your different RGB lights and some of the different EUCs have got that built in but some don't and some people like to express themselves in different ways and different places. Everybody's got their unique style and voice and having lights that allow you to customize things and you know change the way you look on the road, that's gonna give you, you know, just some options and that's really fun, can be fun and, and it also is safe. At nighttime when you see these lights changing, it does capture your attention if you're just watching, you know, if you're on the road you, you see people with these flashing lights and it's all about being seen especially at night time well i've been rolling with shred lights for uh, at least a year now and i've had no problems in weather what i like is the convenience the rechargeable battery they just work you know and i can quickly pop them on and off they've got their own s-lock mount system i find works really well i can just switch lights between my wheels and onto my helmets, I've got some mounts, heaps of different options for mounting as well. A really small, convenient little setup, it's just a little plastic light and everything's just compact. You've got one USB-C port which has got a little rubber cover, you just need to make sure that that's covered up before you go out into the weather. It's got an IPX7 weather rating, so no problems getting out in the wet stuff, there's a few puddles here. And I don't have to worry about that splashing back up into the lights. There's no open ports. I've got these new Shredlights SLFX on with magnets. It's a new magnetic mount. And if you go back to my last video, I was, I was doing some big jumps and some big bonks. And those, they didn't move, not once. So the magnets are really strong and really sturdy. And um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy just... Um, clipping them on and off nice and easily That's the beautiful thing. They all have a USB-C charge and I can just pull them off When I get home and I'm recharging my wheel I just plug in my lights and they're good to go again as well Shred lights also offer a quad USB charging cord So if you grab that you can just rip off your lights plug them all in at once and Yeah, just grab them again when you're going and they just slide in easily into the shred locks s mount so depending on which wheel you grab you just slide them in put the lights where you want and being a uni universal mount between all the lights you can switch it up so you can see here I've just logged into the shred lights app and it shows me straight away you can add different lights and you can add them to a, a setup so I've just set them up here for one wheel unfortunately they didn't have AUC but you could set that to whatever and you can see that you can add lights to a set so if you wanted to have different sets of lights for different vehicles you can have them set up here within the app the other cool thing i thought is the auto on function so if i switch that to the a there 
now the lights basically just sense movement and start to switch on and that's just how I've got mine set up so you know they're just constantly at the moment on my bench if I knock the bench they start to turn on and start to sequence so just watch that and it might push through the battery if you don't know that that's turned on and then I can switch into the different light here and customize the mode so if I hit customize you can see here I've got the different color options and up the top I've got the different setups so I've got a warm setup there which has got six different warm colors mode 2 just a blue and a cooler setup there and mode 3 is just a solid orange but you can have it go through a solid a fade a pulse or a circle so so yeah a few different ways to customize it anyway and the brightness of each each light there and just having it nice and easy to change that's really really cool so yeah I hope you got something out of today's video I hope I covered a little bit anyway I showed you you know basically you've got a full RGB color spectrum of eight colors that you can choose and select different modes between and you can do it all via Bluetooth so you don't have to get down to the light each time. Bluetooth also enables you to update firmware. You know, things that might be nice if they added were slightly faster transitions, the ability to speed up the transitions and maybe a few more different sequences. But you know, I, I'm not really too familiar with any of the RGB lights to compare it to. But for ease of use and, you know, I've just popped them on and got rolling straight away. No batteries. To worry about no wiring just convenient so that's kind of what you're paying for with the shred lights brand is that extra convenience of just being able to switch it up between the mounts and nice and easy usability and getting them on and off and using them in different places having them rechargeable and durable i've used mine all the time rolling and they've copped a lot of knocks and bashes and weather but they've held up and they still really you know work flawlessly they state that the slfx for example show that they offer a three hour battery now i think that's going to be depending on whether you're cycling different light modes and what brightness you've got them at but you know for me i just recharge them each time i'm charging my wheel so it doesn't become a problem you know, I just go home and recharge the wheel and then I plug in the quad USB adapter and charge all my lights at the same time. And being so easy to clip on and off, I just grab them the next day and they're ready to go again. So it might be a really good option for you or being able to pop them on your jacket, your kit, extra places to just either hot your wheel up and pimp it out or make yourself look a bit safer. You know, some colored lights on the back of your jacket with a magnet mount. That might work for you but it's a really good um good light i rate it and i've only had it just a little bit of time so i'm going to thank shred lights because they did send me the lights and if you could help me and shred lights out by following my link that'll get you 10 percent off if you're looking to buy some lights so nice and easy good usability why not and 10 percent off is just a really really good help the other thing i'll quickly touch on is i have had to use their support before and I had a faulty SL300 early on and it was such an easy process and it came straight straight away a replacement so that's a really really I guess that's another thing you're paying for is that support not having to worry about fixing it if it goes wrong within your warranty period you've got a really good brand standing behind you so yeah all, all in all like I can't I can't say anything wrong they look great they're bright enough I think I'll get out at night and use them a bit more you guys let me know what you think anyway a lot of you do your own custom lighting which is amazing but i just don't have the, the time or the ability and i just like things to be easy at the moment for me so but yeah good luck if you're kidding out your wheel and doing your own lighting setup these might be a good option i think two you know one under each pe pedal is a really convenient way to roll but just watch you don't clip them off but please use my code, you get 10% off and it really helps me out. So I haven't been sending any traffic shred lights way, so I told the guys I'd try to try to get um, get some traffic there. And I'll do another video on all of my shred lights soon, I guess. And I don't know, let me know if you want to see that. I'll put that together. Other than that, I hope you're rolling well. I hope you've had a 
good week, day, month, year, I guess. So see you again. We'll, we'll do this next time. Thanks for your support. Please like and subscribe. It does take a bit of time to put it all together. See ya.